Hey, I am so glad that you are here because I want to challenge you to make your version of the front cover of John Walter Stanley book. So you can think of this in a lot of different ways. You can think of it as a challenge. You can think of it as a contest. You can think of it as a way to show off your tools. You can see my example right here. I mean, this one's not going to be entered in the contest because, I mean, who enters their own contest, right? But I made it specifically for this video just to give one example. And believe it or not, there's actually two different versions of the front cover of Walter's book. And you can make either one, whichever one you like best. The first edition of the book looked like this. This one was made by Ryan Powell from Northern Virginia and... He's also not entering the contest, but we wanted to give you all an example. He's on the committee. We want to give you all an example of what each one looked like. So hopefully at this point, I've piqued your interest and this is something that you want to do. And of course, I'm sure you have questions like, when does the contest take place? Well, I'm glad you asked. So it starts basically the moment that you watch this video. So it's coming out on 1 September, 2023. And as long as it's before Halloween of 23, you've still got time. So based on when this video is coming out, we're giving everybody up to eight weeks to get their shadow box built. But that's what I want you to do. I want you to build a box and I want you to fill it with your favorite tools. They don't have to be Stanley. Yeah, it's a tribute to John Walter Stanley book, but I want you to fill it with your favorite tools. I want you to fill it with the ones that inspire you to go out to the shop and work every day. And essentially, there's just one rule. Only one tool out of the entire box needs to match what's on the front cover of one of the Stanley books. That's all I ask. Everything else, you can make it all the same tool. If you collect plumb bobs, fill the whole thing with plumb bobs. There's going to be a number of different categories I'm going to tell you all about here in a few minutes. But I want you to fill it with the tools you like to see. Have you started wondering what's at stake? What can you win? Well, then we're thinking the same thing. It's hard to pick just one prize and say, hey, this is the first prize. But I'm going to be giving stuff away. So for example, you might want some JPF swag. You might want one of those t-shirts. You might want some of these stickers. You might want one of these legit tumblers like this right here. I can even get it custom done with your name or your nickname on one side of it. By the time the contest is over, I'm going to have this Winchester with a fresh new handle. So you can win this if you want it. But wait, there's more. I'm also going to offer up a set of these handles that were made by Dave Corinth of Corinth Toolworks. I even bought an extra copy of Walter's book. Now, it's a used copy, but I'm willing to throw that into the prize pool and give it away. So if you're somebody who's building this off of pictures off the internet, or you borrow a book from somebody, or you get a picture of it so you can make your version, hey, I'm going to hook you up with a book if that's what you want and you place high enough. I'm even going to sweeten the prize pool a little bit more. If y'all can get the JPF Patreon account to 50 patrons by Halloween, I'm offering $50 store credit to whoever wins the grand prize. And they can take 50 bucks off anything they buy from me. All right, remember, the contest ends on Halloween. So you got to get your pictures to me by 31 October of 23. And at that time, I'm going to sit down with my committee. Well, we'll sit down. We'll get together on Zoom. And we're going to narrow it down to the top 10%. And those are going to be the finalists that are going to go for final judging. And the final judging is going to be done by none other than you and the entire woodworking community on Facebook. So in the Just Plain Fun, the parts division community, that's where the judging is going to take place. I'm going to post all the pictures and then we're going to gather reactions. And that's who's going to determine the different ones. And remember, I still owe you an answer on what those categories are. And speaking of which, these are the categories. There's going to be a total of, let's say, three and a half categories. And the reason why I say three and a half is because the half category is closest to the original picture. But there's only three finalists that will compete for that. As for the other three categories, one is going to be most unique. So kind of think best theme. And by the way, can you tell what my theme is back here? And of course, it's just plain fun. So I want you all to have fun with this. So I'm looking for another category that's going to be most ridiculous, most fun. Let's say you put googly eyes on all your tools or you paint them all pink or you paint them all blue. Am I right? And the last category, certainly not the least category, is going to be the crowd favorite. Now, with that said, I don't want this to be a popularity contest. So I'm not going to have the names associated with the pictures when I post them for judging come 1 November. 
But at the same time, I'm perfectly fine with y'all posting your pictures on your social media. And do me a favor, put hashtag JPF Walter. So you've got the categories. You know what the contest is all about. There's basically one rule, and that's have one tool match what's on there. Everything else is just free game. You got the timeline for it, with the exception of when will the winners be announced? The winners will be announced on or about 11 November. So it's actually going to coincide with the Wounded Waters fundraiser for Veterans Day weekend that's going to happen over on the Can I Have It auction page. So that weekend, Veterans Day weekend, I will announce the winners. It's either going to happen on Saturday or Sunday, but it's going to happen. And then I'll get those prizes out to everybody the very next week. So just to recap, any species of wood you want to use, really any dimensions. If you want to match the original, it's probably going to look something similar to this. But any dimensions, any species of wood, you can do any joinery or lack thereof. As you can see, I didn't get crazy with the joinery on mine, and I think it looks okay. And if you have any other questions about the contest or any of the rules or anything like that, of course, just put them in the comments below. I'm going to answer everybody's questions. If it's something that needs to go to committee, I'll chat with the boys and then we'll come back and let you know what the answer is. So no worries there. I got you covered. But perhaps the most important thing is I need you to share this video with anybody who you think might be interested in entering this competition. So you can even team up with a buddy and y'all can kind of challenge each other and you know bounce ideas off of each other stuff like that but you got to share this video so that way we can get it out to the widest audience and we can get the best submissions for this contest all right so dimensions of the box if that's something that you're interested in i kind of reverse engineered it to come up with the dimensions for this one right here and i think i got it pretty close to the original but if that's something that you need, go ahead and shoot me an email. I'm going to put it in the, I'm going to put my email in the description to the video. Shoot me an email and I'll send you these dimensions by email. Hey, and if y'all can just do me one small favor, if you think this is something you want to get in on, go ahead and come on in the comments and just jot down, I'm in, or hey, I want to get in on this. And that way, you know, we can use that for planning purposes. Me and the committee will know we'll be able to set up prizes and we'll have an idea how many entrants, stuff like that. That'd be great. And I cannot wait to see everybody's entries. This is gonna be so cool.